some very interesting things have come to light once again. Very interesting indeed. It's just so crazy how connected to politics, media and all that the meat industry really is. Meat, dairy and eggs, it's crazy. Like you would have, oh my God, oh my God. Like these are big players, man. These are big players, eh? Multi-billionaire meat industry media moguls controlling the thought of the public. That's not even a conspiracy. That's not even a conspiracy theory. This is, this is well, well, it is kind of a conspiracy for them to, to, to pollute the minds of the masses for their, you know, their ends. But that's not even a conspiracy theory. We have proof. <laughs> you know what I mean? We have proof. And it's far, the, the, the extent to how far it stretches, like into politics. Money talks, man, eh? Like, you know, I know I was a drug dealer. I was a drug dealer for years and a gangster, you know what I mean? Like, I know what money, what money does. It corrupts. It corrupts people. You know, you throw enough money at someone, dude, and you start playing with someone's money. I mean, it's just like, it's the number one corruption, like, poison in society is money, isn't it? Like, I kind of knew it. Like, I kind of knew that media was run by meat industry. I kind of knew it, like, but, but, but now is, there's no doubt. <laughs> Now there's no doubts at all. It's just like you find obvious like things like that out and it's like, wow. Oh my God, those poor animals, you know? Like imagine like, you know, you've got a YouTube channel, right? And you've got 10,000 subs. Or you've got an Instagram with like 3,000 followers and you, you, could, you can promote your message to those 3,000 people. Imagine owning media. Imagine owning media, what you can promote. And how many people? I could control the perception of millions, tens of millions of people with media. And they're not, it's not a democracy. This is a hierarchy. This is a hierarchy. You have a chairman, an owner of a media company. That's not democracy. He calls the shots. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? One guy calls the shots for a whole media outlet. That's hierarchy. You think that you, go, you call the shots over the boss? That's not how it works. At the end of the day, the boss makes the call. And if this boss is a meat mogul, who's making, who's calling the shots here? The meat mogul. He's got a million hectares of cattle land. A million hectares. Do you know I looked up what a hectare is? I think one hectare is a square kilometre. A million square kilometers? <laughs> you know what that is? That's a high, there's so much land. This guy owns for, for grazing cattle. Poor, ca poor cows. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, the beef industry's taken off, like, in 2015, right when veganism started taking off, like, everybody here, <laughs> if anything happens to me, I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, mate. If anything happens to Joey, you know where, well, you know why, you know why. All right, so share my videos if something happens to me. Um, but seriously, I'm not going to, I'm not going to shut up about it. I'm going to keep talking about it. Like media moguls that run the meat industry and are influencing the masses to consume dead body parts. Wow. Corrupt as fuck. You know, I don't, I don't swear much. But that is corrupt as you gotta know these people have political ties. They they a billionaire. You know how much a billion dollars is? Billionaires have political ties. Because what what do politics listen to? Like your politicians are just humans. They need they need a bit of cash. Politicians wanna make some cash. You know what I mean? Not everyone has this, you know, purpose driven life where they wanna do good. Some people just want to make some cash and kick back. You know, maybe some hookers in a hotel. You know, not everyone wants to change the world. So billionaires have like so much political influence. 
billionaire meat mogul media uh, mafia f bosses had political influence. So if, if vegans are throwing some pebbles, vegans are throwing pebble, pe pebbles. This is like David versus Goliath. You know, ve vegans start throwing some pebbles, they'll pass some laws, you know, to protect the animal abusers, protect the slave owners. This is how it works. We're tapping into something big now, guys. We're tapping into something big. It's absolutely insane what these guys, people are capable of. At the end of the day, these are just people with, that have been put in a position where they've got lots of money and power, right? But they can't go on with this, with this dinosaur mentality of this old, old school mentality forever. You know, this guy looks like he's, a, he's pushing 76. You know, he's bringing his, he's polluting his old school mentality towards animal exploitation and, you know, the use of resources. Greedy mentality onto the masses. That mentality is going to die out with this, with this guy. And like, there's no reason why these billionaires can't invest in plant-based options. Put your money into some, this is a thing, this is going to happen with or without this guy, with or without me. This is just going to happen. It's too far gone now. It's too far gone. Too many people know about this now. You know what I mean? Too many people know about this. Yeah, there's no reason why these billionaire meat mogul mafia media chairman can't invest in some innovative plant-based products because of the market. The market is huge for it. You know what I mean? Like, stop thinking in that little square. That little square of, like, beef cattle. There's other ways of making money. All they think of is oil and beef cattle, dairy. Like, try something innovative. You know, it's more cost effective, it's more resource efficient. It's better for heaps of good reasons, like, they could just make soya milk, or instead of feeding all that soil to cows and all that water to cows, using all that land, buying all that land for cows, that's all money. That's all money, that's not a wise use of money to make profit. You know what I mean? Like, they just, and also, so it'll help them with their, their ends of making cash. And it also will help animals and, you know. And these people, these, these billionaire meat moguls, they've got families that will, you know, inherit, the, inherit these diseases. Diseases of affluence, heart disease and cancer, you know. And then what? Then what? That's from, that's from the, the meat and dairy that you promote to people on your, on your media channels. You know what I mean? Like, you, you're hurting real people. Hurting real people. You know, with your with your pro carnivore crap, pro cancer crap. That's what it was. Anyways, that's what I think about all this. Like these are real human beings. They're not like they're, well, they might be a little bit cold-hearted about or or just indoctrinated. But the thing is, they're real human beings, and it's just crazy. Like I'm just I'm just freaking out a little bit. How like like what do they talk about? Oh, those vegans, right? I'm gonna call I'm gonna call my people at Channel Seven, my 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 media company. We're gonna we're gonna put out some some anti-vegan shit. And we're gonna, I'm gonna talk to my mates in the politicians. We're gonna talk to my mates in Parliament. We're gonna pass some laws, pesky vegans. We're gonna promote meat, red meat especially, from my cattle, from my cattle ranch. When you look at like um, like McDonald's and, and Burger King in Australia, which is called Hungry Jacks in Australia, it's all 100% Australian beef, and they've got this 100% Australian beef stamp. And then when you're watching Channel Seven and stuff. Like every second uh, commercial advertisement is McDonald's, Hungry Jacks, Australian beef, pork, get pork on your fork. And then you've got this media mogul sitting back like controlling the media, controlling what people see in the news, then controlling the advertisements people see. So he's p controlling the propaganda, controlling the advertisements, controlling the mind of the consumer. It's a perfect way of just making cash, isn't it? Like manipulating the minds of the masses through your media company to promote your products that cause the abuse and murder of billions of animals and destroy the environment while you kick back and get your coin. You know what I mean? I think it's absolutely shocking. Shocking, unethical behavior. Like, there's certain ways of making money. You don't have to, you know, pillage, decimate, cause so much suffering to humans and animals in the environment just for your billions of dollars that you don't need. What do you need with, what do you need billions of dollars for? Why do you need billions of dollars? Billions, just 
Why? That's a, that's a very toxic, greedy mentality. You know, you got people starving to feed your cattle. Human beings starving to feed the cattle. The cattle that shouldn't even exist. But you know, that, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that children are starving in these third world countries. You'll never meet those children anyway. We, you don't give a shit. Just feed all their food to cattle so you can shoot them in the skull and sell, their, sell them in burgers, sell their bodies in burgers. <sighs> Crazy mixed up world. Channel seven. After they deceived us into doing their shitty uh, vegan hit piece and they didn't mention the animals once. Real slimy, real slimy media. She was so nice to our face though. So nice to our face and then pretended to play dumb when I called her out on it. Like, not putting up with it anymore, eh? We have our own media. We have our own media, social media. We should use it. We need to all band together and use, it, use our media platforms. Together, like, we are, we are a pretty strong force. Because we don't sleep on this, man. We don't, we don't sleep on this.